I think beside all of the uh, tangibles that Dick Vermeil brings to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, he brings an idea of youthfulness and enthusiasm for every single day that he coached and he worked with players. The energy and spirit of Dick Vermeil were fixtures in the league throughout his 15-year head coaching career. His accomplished tenure included seven seasons in Philadelphia, three seasons in St. Louis, and five seasons in Kansas City, with a profound impact everywhere he went. The one thing I knew about Dick was his uh, loyalty uh, to the people around him, to his players, his coaches. In 1976, Vermeil took on a daunting task. He became the head coach of an Eagles team that had not qualified for the postseason since 1960. That's it, get it to him. All right, get it to him, take it. Under his leadership, that would soon change. I'll tell you where you're going. You're going to the Super Bowl. No, he's going to the Super Bowl is where he's going. Always a man to march to his own beat, Vermeil took a 15-year NFL hiatus. He would remain close to the game, working as a college and NFL broadcaster. Then, in 1997, he became head coach of a Rams team in the midst of its own seven-year postseason dry spell. He said, I want you to know that Kurt Warner is going to take us to where we want to go, the NFL championship. And I must tell you, I know in that locker room, uh, there was nowhere near the conviction from those players. A lot of them were saying, who is Kurt Warner? But Dick had that faith in Kurt. No substitute for explosion out of that stance. That faith was repaid and then some, with Warner and Vermeil teaming up for the greatest show on turf. He's got a touchdown, Saint Louis! A stunning 1999 Rams season that concluded with Super Bowl 34. And as they say, you know, the rest is history. And he took them all the way to the World Championship and won it. Dick was capable of doing those things. We won the Super Bowl, did we not, huh? Did we win the Super Bowl? After lifting the Lombardi Trophy, Vermeil would retire once more. Then in 2001, came another NFL return. It gives me great pleasure to uh, quite candidly do something that I wanted to do 12 years ago. This time, he would help the Chiefs and their own division title and postseason drought. Never has it been more important to go to work. So offense, gotta go to work. work. Defense, gotta go to work. Special teams, go to work. let's go. He has the distinguished honor of being named Coach of the Year in the high school, junior college, collegiate, and professional ranks. A serial winner and a consummate leader. I consider the induction of Dick Vermeil into the Pro Football Hall of Fame as a culmination of a magnificent football coaching career. And uh, obviously I've felt for a long time that Dick Vermeil was more than deserving of this. There won't be a better ambassador to the Pro Football Hall of Fame than Dick Vermeil. I am honored and privileged to present my longtime friend and colleague, Dick Vermeil for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame.